<laughs> Hello, friends and foes, fays and fiends, and welcome to Quests and Chaos. My name is Alondra Heilman, my pronouns are she, her, and tonight I will be your heist handler as we continue our playthrough of Keys from the Golden Vault. Tonight, we are starting an all new heist, the second module in the book, the Stygian Gambit. But before we get to that, uh, let's quickly introduce the lovely players who will be joining me. You'll meet your, their characters uh, shortly. Uh, so we'll just go around starting from this side. Uh, your name and your pronouns. I'm Cal Garrett, and I use they, them pronouns. Uh, Cheryl, they, uh, she, they. I, almost... <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> uh, Tiana Ren, <laughs> she, fang. Nick, he, him. Wonderful. Thank you all for being here. There are pronouns, we just kind of put them in a jar and shake them up before <laughs> yeah. every episode, so don't worry about you it. Can, you can have Faye next time, I promise. I, I actually wanted to be hee haw. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off strong. You have no idea what a good joke that's going to be in about two hours. Um, but before we dive into Mark your time. that. <laughs> Um, let's get some quick housekeeping out of the way. First of all, we always like to shout out our friend of the channel, Nord Games. Nord Games makes awesome 5th uh, edition D&D &D and system agnostic supplements that you can use to expand uh, your games. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to end up using their spectacular settlements at some point in this chaos. Um, and if you want to get some cool stuff from them and help us out in the process, you can go to nordgamesllc.com slash three dot html and that'll give us a little kickback and let you get some very cool stuff. Uh, tonight's game is also sponsored by our own beloved Deck of Inspiration. Yay! Yay! Uh, I have some cards. The players have some cards. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you want to get your own deck of inspiration, you can go to shop.questsandchaos.com. It will load. It might be a little slow. Blame the weather. Um, but it will be there. So if you didn't get a chance to back our Kickstarter, you can now get your own sets, including the deck of uninspiration, which maybe someone will annoy me enough tonight to get pulled. Who knows? We'll find out. I don't know if that's a, <laughs> that's yeah. a challenge. I think we See, have a volunteer. I don't know if that's a challenge or a threat. <laughs> On this channel, could be both. In this game specifically, could be both. Well, what's the difference? <laughs> Precisely. Um, and that leads us right into, it's like I put these slides in this order to make it really easy to segue. Um, we still have some cards from our wonderful patrons that were given to us. Um, I am still sitting on an Eagle Splendor, a Safety Oil, and a Boosted Bomb. Hmm. Um, and the players have, I believe, th three left yep. that they are going to read off and distribute amongst the players. Anyone who would want to, who would like to read one, grab, feel free. Sure. I've got you, Boosted Regen. I when do, consumed, this potion heals 1d6 plus 2 HP. At the beginning of each of your turns, you heal 1d6 plus 2 HP for one minute. I have time out. Choose a creature within 60 feet. That creature is paralyzed until the end of their next turn. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I have boosted adrenaline. I mean, I don't have it, but I'm holding it. As a reaction, you take half damage from any one magical or non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing attack. This is calculated after any resistance is applied. I will not actually be holding one of these. Well. I would be too useful, and that goes against my. It goes against your ethos. Character concept. No, I understand. Some, I, I make characters that are actually helpful sometimes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think the last one was Hollister. That was... <laughs> oh boy, we're already getting into the deep cuts. Uh, you know what else is a deep cut? This awesome raid that we just got from Hello. Nat 21 Adventures. Starting with that off right. Thank you so much for joining us. We are just about to kick into the story, so I hope you stick around and uh, tell me all of the ways that I read this module wrong. Because that's usually how this game goes. Um, I'll hang on to this. Does anybody want to be less squishy? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I think we're the same. Take we're it. the same? Okay, I'll take it. We're the same. We're the same. Put this one on this side. They can be friends over here. Okay, all good. All right. Um, and uh, as always, we have some bits coming in. Yeah. Uh, our tavern upkeep is at 89%, Ooh. thanks to all of your generous support and a generous payout that we got from Nord Games. Again, if you get stuff and use our link, it helps us out, and that's how we get our numbers so cool and high. 
Um, tonight we've got 500 bits from Duke Fleeg for the heisters. Huzzah. Thank you, Duke. Thank you, Your Grace. Um, and we've got 500 bits from Tamago Tora for the new crew and players. I'm going to send this one to Nick because you are the newest player at the table Yay. for this good particular catch. game. Nice. Was Avoided a good catch. the cups. I yeah, it was it. right over. I the Londres cup two weeks ago. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, without even being able to see it, it was very impressive. I've done that once. It was great. <laughs> okay. Uh, and with that little bit of business, let me double check. Oh, it looks like we have one more card that has come in mm. for all of you. I guess I'll be nice and let you have it. Appreciated. Oh. And then my prompter vanished. It's yours, man. I'm reading it again. You, it, you, you're the only player who doesn't have one, and we only uh, get one per. A lot of spin. You add spin to a single range attack. Oh, I have a sling. <laughs> and ignore all uh, cover bonuses of a creature within 10 feet of a point you can see. Basically, you're curving the sling ball. I can't actually hit anything all that time. with my sling. It's flavor, <laughs> but... We like flavor. Okay. It's, 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 why, it's how the food is good. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, I would allow you guys, since that was a last minute card, if anybody wants to trade around, but it seems like you guys have a pretty good spread going. So. Yeah, we have to use these on ourselves. Can we call them on other? I assume we have to use them for ourselves. You have to use them for your yeah, tell your mom. If you I have to use my sling now, yeah. appropriately. <laughs> you know, there might be an opportunity for that. I think they got through the last one with, uh, with uh, no comment. Oh, I have just been told by the control room, uh, because of this raid, we are going to do a giveaway. Yeah. Of the deck of inspiration. So, you can uh, have a, a hit, of these for yourself. Yeah, you can get this for yourself. So, if you're here, hashtag chaos in the chat right now. Uh, we will be drawing that a little bit later after I've done some obnoxious villain monologuing. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, drop that in the chat. We'll pull one of those. If you're in the US, we can send you a physical deck. And if you're not in the US, we can send you a PDF because we're cool like that. Everybody can enter. Yay! All right. Well, while you all uh, drop that in the chat, let's get a little recap, shall we? Last time, with uh, Gemma's surprise exit from the Varkenheim heist, Sloan, Stuart, and Vlad were suddenly introduced to Risha, a Hadesi acquaintance of Dave the Hipster Bartender, who was uh, swiftly and unceremoniously inducted into both the team and the Golden Vault. Just to the nines for the gala, the team proceeded to the museum and promptly convened in the bathrooms to confer on their plan. From there, they made their way into the gala, where they immediately split up to spy on attendees and look for an opening to steal the stone. Stewart's priming of naive guard Clark proved clutch when Vlad was able to convince him that the judgmental lollipop-sucking ten-year-old might have messed with the stone's display. In a panic, Clark pulled the fire alarm, evacuating the building, and a final diversion from Risha allowed Vlad and Sloane to successfully snag the stone and shove it into the briefcase of holding. The team then reconvened with Stuart in the attic of the museum and descended down the back wall to disappear into the college's Rush Week night frisbee game. D&D, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> The team returned the stone to Dr. Daniel, who promptly enclosed it in the now-repaired holding vessel, and assured the team that thanks to their swift efforts, the world was safe from whatever that thing might have become at midnight. Everybody went for drinks. Now, it's, it's been a little bit of time since the successful recovery of the Merkmeyer Stone, and it seems that the Golden Vault has once again decided to call upon a few of its newest operatives, for you see the machinations of greed and ill-gotten gain never sleep. It's been a couple of months since the Varkenheim heist and everyone has sort of been dispersed, as you will. Um, but you know, when you're in sort of a no opt-in and no opt-out situation, something's bound to come up. And indeed, that seems to be the case. Sloan, you've been working at your shop, creating jewelry, breaking down jewelry, um, uh, getting some sick new ink in the meantime, I mm -hmm. understand. Uh, do, you, do your uh, tattoos look like anything in particular? Um, lots of scrolling kind of elvish detail on um, one arm and then more, more of a dwarvish influence on the other arm. 
Nice. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be ugly babies. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Okay, I just no, got the no, wrong no. impression from earlier, okay? No, no, Sloane loves babies. Okay. Sloane thinks babies are all cute, even okay. if they're ugly. That's fair. <laughs> Which is why I figured that, okay, yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, uh, Theo has now uh, been getting up and working. What's Theo like today? Yeah, today Theo um, is feeling kind of low energy, um, and instead of a, uh, just, pure like sort of green snake kind of vibe. Um, Theo looks more like a fairy dragon today. So wings and like kind of purplish detail on uh, the body and on the wings and uh, yeah. yeah. Very cute little fairy dragon. Little baby. Yeah. yeah. But you know, you've been uh, you've been having a, a pretty low key time. Everything's been uh, real chill. It's a quiet day at the shop. Mm -hmm. um, and you, suddenly hear a weird sort of like buzzing. It's like a weird vibration. Like if something is vibrating, like sitting on a table, that kind of rattle that happens. It seems to be coming from, uh, uh, from over inside that briefcase that you got from Dr. Danel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna go up to the briefcase and I'm gonna poke it a little bit, uh, sort of. You can feel like the vibration like through the briefcase. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm gonna open up the briefcase and uh, sitting on the in the flat of the briefcase because you know again this is a briefcase of holding so you know things sort of sometimes are or are invisible. You open up and you see sitting in there that business card with uh, Priscilla Tyga's name on it that has the golden key emblem on the other side. It's just sitting there and it seems to be sort of like. Uh, okay, uh, that's weird. I don't think it's supposed to do that, and I'm gonna poke it. The second you touch it, you and the briefcase instantly Whoa, fuck. <laughs> flash <laughs> and disappear. Uh, Risha. Yes. Uh, you're hanging out. Uh, what's your what's your go to bar? That you hang out at. Honestly, I, I hang out uh, with Dave Pure most of the time. Just, uh, it's it's a good spot to get good information, and when the when the students are drunk, they're easy to pickpocket. It's fair, yeah. The Sage's Quail is a great place to hang out. There's always a raucous student party, and very frequently a cult meeting. So you get the best of both worlds, I guess. It's fun. Um, but yeah, you no, know, you're sitting down there hanging out, um, chatting with Dave, who is uh, practicing his like weird bartender tricks, you know, the classic like tossing the cups and like doing the tall pours and things. Um, you're not sure why he practices because you're pretty sure he uses magic to make them all work anyway, but you like the thought. Yeah, it's it, it's like how some bartenders will spend all their time wiping glasses that are already clean. He just mm. does this. Yeah. Uh, but he's flipping around, and and, and suddenly uh, you see that he kind of like tilts his head a little bit, catches the glass that he had just tossed up, uh, goes over to uh, the top shelf, reaches up, pulls a very nice bottle of liquor down. It's only got about you know yay much left, maybe a few fingers. Um, looks at it and he goes, "I think this is yours now." Thanks. And as soon as you uh, see him out, you see that he has palmed in his hand underneath a business card with a golden key on it. He hands it out to you, and right as you put your hand on the bottle, he winks, and you disappear. As I, and I just love this dramatic sigh as I'm disappearing. Gemma. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you and your mom had to spend a few days of awkward quality time together. Um, as one does, uh, Love mostly a road trip. Yeah, you know, going to the elemental chaos was a lot more fun when you were younger. But it's kind of just the same. Like, there's, it's a I've lot of seen that flaming mountain a thousand times. Yeah, I don't need to see it again. So much dust and the like between the fire and the rain and the way that there's like that perfect split. It, you're over it. Um, but you know, you got through it. Everything's fine. You said your awkward goodbyes and you were able to return to your normal 
tinkering and machinations, turning over some of your uh, gems. Maybe you even stopped by Sloane's shop at some point <laughs> to do a little handoff. Yeah. Yes, I would have given you the 20 gold from the last oh, job. Oh, sweet. So <laughs> yes. Gold. Mm. Yes. And... Oh, yeah. And I would be like, hey, if you can circulate some of these for me and just hand you some bullshit gems. <laughs> I will put them in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> also, um, I think I just want to check, does the, uh, what was it, a uh, healing potion and yes. a, a potion of climbing? Yes, a healing potion and a potion Great, of climbing. A potion of greater healing and a potion of climb. Yes, also, as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to put that one in my... Thank you. Yeah, those were... Which I can't do right now, because you guys have stuff. <laughs> View yeah. only. Nice. You'll just have to remember. Hopefully you, I, you won't You know what? If, if people weren't sarky about me using my phone... <laughs> I'll remind you. Thank you. Um, anyway, but yeah, you know, so... Greater. Uh, greater. Greater. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you're but you're back you're back to the usual. You've been settling in, and uh, one day as you're sitting there, you... Uh, you don't really hear so much as you feel the like that like magical crackle shift somewhere in that pile of like old receipts and magazines and papers that's sitting in the corner of your ring mm -hmm. um and you just get that sense and you you've your mom's pulled this on you enough times you you can feel like essentially a portal opening or the key to a portal popping up pretty easily Great. Uh, you better bring my ring, too, <laughs> to get through it. <laughs> you dig through oh, until you God. find sitting at the bottom of this pile, perfectly set up, a business card with a golden key on it. It's kind of glowing slightly. I'm going to poke it with some tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you poke it a little bit, and it, like, blinks. Great. Let's go outside first. <laughs> Pick it up with the tweezers, pop out, grab my ring, and then... Yeah, you pop out, grab your ring, and you just see that very startled squirrel's eyes get huge. Oh, you again. Vanish. <laughs> that poor squirrel has PTSD now. <laughs> you gotta find a different tree to hide your ring in, man. Um, Devin. Oh, I found some good stuff, didn't I? This is gonna be a, I'm, I'm eating well tonight. You are, oh man, there is a full, almost half of a chicken carcass in this dumpster. <sighs> like, you're pretty sure you can not only like snag some meat, but also get bone broth out of this, if you can find a large enough vessel to use That's, as a pot. Yeah. No, but the meat, I can. Yeah. I mean, can I grind up the bones? Like, you know what, no, I, I'm, this is good, this is good. I'm putting it in the bag. Yeah, you also found a couple of not entirely rotten carrots. You're pretty sure you can get the greens off of. Almost yeah, have like yeah. a salad too. Like, there's there's some options here. You're, you're, you're aiming way too fancy. You know, I, you picked a good dumpster tonight. Yeah. Uh, but the best thing about this dumpster, or maybe the worst thing, depending on your perspective yeah. on it, um, is that you suddenly feel that little nudge, that little nudge in the back of your brain that you recognize as a, as a very welcome and very oh. honored hello. Oh, Count Hyacinth. Oh, is that you? Oh, one, one minute. As I get the stuff into the bag. You get stuff in the bag as the top of the dumpster flips open and you see a very tall woman with white hair sort of looking and go, uh, uh, Devin, darling, you yeah. look awful. Why are you in a dumpster? <laughs> yeah, th things, have been, things have been hard. Um, oh. Uh, the, the world's totally different. Oh, sweetheart. It's... You know, we, I, I, um. You, have you come for me? Do you need me? Well, I, um, Hyacinth mentioned that you were in the area and, uh, we thought you might like some yes, work. Yes, yes. And he's what? scampering out. <laughs> yeah. She sort of reaches her hand down. You've already like clambered up over. And she's like, right, well, why don't we just, um, why don't we just go meet up with the others and I'll, uh, I'll pass you off. We'll, uh, we'll get you fixed up with a job and maybe a clean suit, if you thank like. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Lady Tyga. Uh, you really, it's Priscilla. You can just call me by my first name. Everybody just calls me by my first name. <laughs> that, yeah, that, as you wish. <laughs> uh, she holds out her hand, the hand with the signet ring on it. It's it's fine. It's I have Purell. It's really okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as you take her hand uh, and you see uh, uh, Count Hyacinth pop his little buddy head out of her satchel, you both vanish. And we're gonna quickly roll a giveaway before I get oh. too much deeper in. I think so. Yeah. Last chance. Hashtag chaos in the chat. We'll give it a couple more minutes, and then the control room can roll whenever they feel is appropriate. Oh, 
free stuff, my favorite flavor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why you go dumpster dive, yep. right? <laughs> so much free stuff. Um, all of you, after you, uh, actually, no, this is a me game. We have to do this tradition. Everyone roll a constitution saving throw to see how sick you get from the teleport. Oh, <laughs> no. Beans. <laughs> oh, hmm. that's Fortunately, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> that's we can clearly fair. see that. Yes. And is, that is a yeah. 21. Uh, 11. 13. 16. Okay. Mm. Um, you're totally fine. I think I'm used to it. Well, like, it's, yeah, been, it's been several years. It has so. been a while, but it just, it's like riding a bike that like kind of dimension door-esque feeling just comes right back to you. Um, the rest of you, there is that like, oh God, like queasy sea legs getting off the airplane after turbulence moment, but nobody loses their lunch. Everybody's doing okay. The important question is, do I still have the bottle of alcohol You do in my still hand? have the bottle of alcohol <laughs> in your hand. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have the bottle of alcohol in your hand, you have your ring, uh, uh, you have the briefcase that is sort of like awkward, it's like open, nothing spilling out of it, but it's like kind of awkwardly open because you're reaching into it. Um, and you do have Theo who was able to like hop on your shoulder as he was like, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Claws. My Claws. parent! Claws in your shirt. Yeah, she's like, oh no! Ow! Um, <laughs> And uh, the four of you all, uh, five of you technically, six technically, I guess, if we're counting Hyacinth. Um, we are. Everyone suddenly Seven appears. Seven counting Theo. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> just keep doing the numbers. Um, Where's the squirrel? You, <laughs> the squirrel did not come. Next, next time. The squirrel okay. is just traumatized. I'm a Hadozi, not a squirrel. I understand the mistake. <laughs> um, What's Hadozi? Monkey person. Monkey, monkey person. Yeah. Um, but you all find yourselves standing uh, outside a, what looks like a really nice cozy pub. Um, not one that you rec any of you recognize, not one that you've ever been to before as best you can tell. Um, but the other three of you who have already uh, met her do all see and recognize uh, Priscilla, who is standing next to, why don't you go ahead and describe yourself? Yeah. Like, what do they see? Who do they see standing next to Priscilla? Ooh, they, they see a vagabond. They see someone who appears <laughs> to be in their late 20s, pretty heavy set guy. Um, I, I, hate, I hate using the word dumpster again, but he's, he's a dumpster <laughs> fire of, uh, of a man. Um, <laughs> scraggly, yeah. He, while while he's, he's still young, you can, you can see the wear from, uh, from his lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, black hair, um, hazel eyes. There I go, hazel. That's a, that's a. They quest. can be hazel in no, this I light. No, just went brown. Just went brown. <laughs> Got to go with the classics. Yeah, um, but yeah, you see this. Uh, this with a seeping huh. bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a very damp-looking garbage bag. Hindsight, should have left that behind, but I can fix that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but yeah, you see this uh, gentleman. Uh, so here, you look around and you see um, a, a half elf. You see a, uh, a kind of gray marble skinned uh, personage with a lot of, what is it? Gray, gray marble skin, yeah, uh, gray. Kind of into the granite yeah, situation. Yeah, granite hair. Um, and a much shorter than them, about the height of a halfling, uh, a monkey with a large quarter <laughs> staff and a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Everyone looks around and Priscilla goes, oh, excellent, you all got my message. Uh, message is certainly one way to put that, yes. Anyone else wants this good alcohol? Yeah. Anyone else wants some? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like pass the bottle around. I feel yes. well that I should mention that I'm human. I feel no. like I left that out and I feel like now that everyone's so eclectic that it's like, oh, that might be important. Just like a regular human guy. <laughs> well, we have a lot of those working for us. You know, you had one on your last trip, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Man. Yes. It flies is totally, oh, yeah. totally yeah. normal. Yeah, totally yes, normal. Could be normal human. I'll, I'll offer the the human the, the bottle of alcohol. It's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take take it easy. You haven't eaten yet. We'll, yeah, we'll have a uh, we'll have a uh, tapas inside. I'll try to do it like a, a pour. That way, I don't. Well, not <laughs> like a long pour, but sure. like don't touch my lips. I'm. It, oh yeah. Yeah. That's fine. And take it and take it back. You all uh, take your shots uh, as I'll you suddenly hear a and... cheer from inside the bar because hitting chickens has won the giveaway. Oh, congratulations! That's what you haven't heard before. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of squawking. There might there might be some sort of like chicken flinging contest <laughs> that takes place. Odd because this is a really upscale bar, but who knows? 
Um, but they certainly seem to have one. Uh, you also uh, receive uh, some additional bits mm -hmm. from the Baroness for a successful. <gasps> Thank you, Baroness. Thank you, Baroness. Anyway, so as you uh, are suddenly inspired by the cheers <laughs> from inside and the alcohol uh, that you all take in quick shots of, uh, Priscilla goes over and pops open the door and waves you all in. Um, I, I assume you all have gathered that this is a, uh, we, we're being sent on another, you're being sent on another mission by the vault. Uh, I'm just here to hand you off to your contact. Just give her the most dead usual. Hand look and hold up the card. I think this is yours. Oh no, no, you get to keep that forever now. Why bother handing it off again? I had one before. I mean, they, I, they just appear as she seemingly reaches just like into the air and just produces another one. Cool track. I, yeah, I'll say I was not prepared for that trip. Terribly sorry. They, it is sometimes kind of abrupt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Abrupt is a way to put it. Don't worry. Um, if anyone, um, once you've heard the pitch, if there's anything that you need, I can uh, have it summoned here for you. So don't, don't, uh, yeah. don't worry about yeah. that. All right. Um, anyway, uh, please uh, come in, come in, um, and I will introduce you to Verity. Oh, All right. Yeah. Should I go do it like a washroom? First, or... No, I, I, I think we'll just and and she just sort of like brushes off your shoulders and you see your entire outfit just <sighs> cleans. Oh wow! <sighs> One of the only reasons why I want magic. That's such a cool trick. Yeah, it does come in very handy at times. <laughs> Is there anything um, on this definitely normal human's uh, clothing that's ripped? Like no, no. Surprisingly, it's okay. actually it's. Well, it was grungy, but actually in really good repair. Okay, cool. It was just a little a little scuzzy from the dumpster. Yeah. Easy cleanup. You could probably assume that what you were gonna do, he can do. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Um, uh, Priscilla leads you in, you wind through this uh, cozy, warm, inviting little pub to the shadowy back corner, as is obviously going to be Tradition. your meeting place. Um, and you see, uh, sitting in this back corner booth, very much like in the corner, fully facing out to where she can see the entire rest of the bar, is a tiefling. Deep, uh, rosy skin, uh, dark hair that is kind of braided back along the same lines as her dark horns. She sort of gives the scan, looks around as you all approach. Um, sees Priscilla, kind of gives her the nod and just kind of like waves a hand. Ale? I ordered ale for the table. I hope that's all right. Oh, that sounds lovely. I dropped the Thank bag you. off in a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> Over. I wasn't sure if I was going to need it because you never know. But like, it looks like I have a job. So I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> go well. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah, uh, ale, and uh, I got some of the little, I think the crostini with the, like, the toast with the, with the tomatoes and the everything. Oh, that should be That fun. sounds so yeah. good. Oh, yeah. food. Real food. I'll just push my portion over to <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Priscilla sees you all get settled and Thank goes, right, well, um, uh, just, uh, she holds up one of the ever-present cards and taps it. Just give me a call once you know what you need, and I'll, uh, Get it sent your way. Uh, have fun, everyone. Thanks, Priscilla. Cheers. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and she uh, swings over, swings by the bar, speaks to the bartender for a moment, exits. Um, the tiefling who's sitting here just kind of scans you all across and is like, right, so you all uh, work with the moon elf with the creepy rabbit, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that's right. He's You're not a creepy rabbit. rabbit. Yeah, you get to know him. He's fine. I mean... It's, the teeth are a little unsettling, is all I'm saying. Just because he's unsettling doesn't mean he's not cute, you know? Right? Well, it, he's he, all right. Well, he's a stand-up fellow is what he is. You know him right. than the rest of us, I guess. Oh, yeah, he he, he took me in back in the day. Uh, count, count Hyacinth is... <laughs> Sorry, Count? Is a well, Count? technically, he's a regent, but he... A regent of act, what? Well, I've said too much. I'm Sloane, by the way. Sloane Sidron. And then Sloane I, will yeah, hold out uh, their hand. Verity, Verity, Kai. Nice to meet you all. Um, wow, this is the crack team. All right. Fine, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to judge by appearances. <laughs> God's no, that's a 
terrible idea. Um, how do you all feel about uh, anybody got any uh, gambling experience or uh, particular problems with gambling? Yeah. Uh, Throwing the dice a few times, it's fun. No. Great, because okay. uh, I'm gonna need you to. Wait, do we need to win? Oh no, you're gonna you're gonna heist. You're gonna. Um, let me let me we're step it. Count cards. Win, or win, or win we're the gonna... different game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, so. Have any of you heard of the uh, the Afterlife Casino? It's the new place that's opening up down the way. You all from around here? Where is here? Oh, we were all sort of pulled from where we were, so I'm not entirely sure where here. I should know is. if I was uh, reaching out to the vault that they were gonna just pull in whoever they wanted from. Anyway, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. No. Uh, we're sort of uh, about halfway up the Sword Coast. We're about uh, 30 miles north of Candlekeep. Oh, the nerdy wizard place. Yeah. yeah one of them. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, so <laughs> there, uh, Technically. there's a new uh, casino opening, Afterlife Casino, and um, the owner, uh, Quentin Togglepocket, uh, built the entire thing using uh, money that he stole from me. Oh. So I would like to ruin him. This guy's name is Quentin Tumblebucket? Uh, Togglepocket, but b close enough. <laughs> I, I definitely put Togglepocket, so. Togglepocket, so, yeah, sorry, it's the Toggle, regional accent. Togglepocket. 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 Sounds like a 90s toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Togglepocket. <laughs> on, on, on the same shelf as a Tamagotchi. <laughs> yeah, so, um, here's the thing. Uh, grand opening of the casino is, um, this weekend, and he's hosting a big, uh, card tournament to celebrate, right? And, um, He's got this uh, very valuable uh, statue, looks like an uh, Irenes, that he would like, uh, he will be presenting to the winner. And uh, I want it to not be there when the winner is announced so that uh, he has to try to weasel his way out of explaining why his grand prize uh, was stolen from his very high security casino. Um, if oh. you would also like to, I, I don't know, uh, steal back the 5,000 gold pieces that he took from me, that would be real appreciated, but really I just want to humiliate him as much as possible. What, 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 sorry, what is the statue made of? It's a gold statue. Melted down gold, uh, looks like in, in Irani's. It's, it's a, the whole thing's themed on hell. Oh. He's very into the hells. I don't know why he's obsessed with them. You know how like some people just like have always wanted to visit Icewind Dale. He's just always wanted to visit the hells. I don't know why. I have equal desire to visit both of those. <laughs> None. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I grew up there. They're not great. <laughs> it sound they both sound awful. One is freezing cold, and one is the hells. <laughs> Which also has a layer that's freezing cold. Just so you know, fair point. It's not good. How it's big all bad. Is this statue. Hmm. How big is this statue? Oh, you know, it's it's mantle size. You want to be able to display it. It shouldn't okay. be too hot. To We're do. not stealing a twelve foot. No, no, no. Of... I mean, if he's got one that you want to try to steal, I don't know what your capacity is. Uh, I would be fine with that, but that's not the the brief. Um, you said there was a tournament of some kind. Yeah, three dragon ante. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I love this part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three dragon ante. Uh, yeah. So yeah, here's the thing. Um, I was the uh, the the Sword Coast champion at uh, three card ante. Uh, for most of my career, and uh, Quentin was also traveling the circuit. That's how I met him. We were working together, doing uh, uh, team uh, tournaments after a while, and it turned out he uh, befriended me specifically because he was uh, upset that I beat him at his first tournament, and uh, used our friendship to rob me blind and invest all the money in starting a casino that I am uh, obviously banned from. That's the oh my long god. game right yeah. there. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of a shithead. So he I would like- Sounds like a really fucking bad guy. He's not great. He's also, I, I, again, I don't want to judge based on appearances, but when you see him, you'll know that it's him and he's terrible. Uh, right, anyway, so I was, I would like to humiliate him as much as possible. And so I reached out to the Golden Vault because I was like, you know, he did also like rob me blind and took my life savings and I'm kind of, you know, in a dark place. And I don't mean the hells. So, uh, 
I was hoping you all could uh, maybe go and just, you know, ruin his opening weekend and kind of discredit him and all of that. Oh, I love this. This is a great idea. It sounds, it sounds like fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I would love to do this. Any special event beyond the obvious card tournament? That's, that's the big one, really. Cool. Uh, but so, there are any like smaller cool. events? Well, I mean, like there's, there's, uh, there's, yeah, yeah. there's, there's, there's yeah. dice, there's cards, there's slots, all of that. Uh, just, you it's know, normal, an, normal it, casino. Invite only situation. Uh, oh, no, no, it's, no, it, it's open to, good. it's open to anyone. Um, uh, there's some, there's some peculiarities about the place because of the whole hell theme, but um, you can get in just as long as you got, you know, an interest in going. So we're not in the hells right now? No. Okay. No, no. We're I just heard 30 miles oh, yeah, north yeah. of Candlekeep. That's not in the hells. I don't think it's it, in it the It was very disorienting, getting grabbed from where we were and trying to figure out where That's here nice. is. Mm. Yeah. Got it. Uh, yeah. I I just came by normal carriage, so I can't, I don't I don't know what the vault does for, for travel. So uh, what's the buy-in on the tournament? The buy-in? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure because I'm banned from it. Okay. So, um, but I'm sure we could, uh, uh, you could, you could find out. There might be seats available. I imagine if there's enough interest uh, beyond the people who have already been recruited, that uh, there might be there might be more seats. Uh, uh, I will say, uh, if for some reason you decide to play, know that he's a dirty lion scoundrel cheat. So uh, you know the house always wins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I I don't really play myself very much. And more more dice than cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dice. Uh, you said something about heavily, Side eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. heavily armed casino, like alarm. He. Uh, What's the security situation? Oh uh, no, I mean I uh, I did bribe a cousin of mine who works there to get me some information, so I, I was able to get a little bit of. Yes. Oh wow. The layout and uh, some. Oh, some there's a spa, guys. We should totally go to the spa. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I love that. Uh, you guys are welcome to pull that closer to you to look at. Mm. This for, is so cool. There's dollar signs. Reference. That's probably where the vault is. Uh, right. Like they're vault signs. Yeah, so, um. Is money and statue in the vault? Where's the statue? Uh, as far as I know, everything would be in the vault. Uh, that's where they used to always keep it in the past when, uh, when I used to be on the circuit. And, um,. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I got I got some of this information from a cousin of mine who works there. Um, those uh, those uh, little red markers, that's the security mirrors. They're the two-way scrying mirrors, so they've up in the corners and they project off into the security room. Um, those little uh, blue indicators are the employee doors. I'm sure there's some sort of like, uh, you know, pass key or, or code or something. There usually is. Uh, oh, and uh, you have to get into the place up the river. Up the river, like... Yeah, no, like, uh, it's all themed on hell, so the river sticks. Oh. It's not the real river sticks, you're not actually going to hell, but... Is uh, a real wanna... river, or...? It's a real river. Okay. Into an into a underground Great. cavern. Great. Uh, yeah. Oh, so it's really underground. Yeah, no, he, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's an above-board licensed casino, but it is physically under underground. the ground. Underground, yes. yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Well... He's got a theme and he sticks with it. You know that he does. Oh, oh, that's the other, the other part of it. Um, he only hires tieflings. I was gonna ask. Yeah, uh, he only hires tieflings to try to keep with the sort of hell. I'm not sure how he's getting away with that I because it sounds say, like employee discrimination to me. But you know, what's the affirmative I, action on that? You know, I, I, I'm sure he bribed somebody. Okay, that's the best I can figure out. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, according to my cousin though, um. Uh, the the employee only doors are, are marked. They've got a little bit of a, like some sort of like green light or glow or something on them. Okay. Uh, so you can kind of tell what those are. And um, yeah. Do you know if they're hiring extra help for the tournament, or what's the deal on maybe getting in there as a as an employee? As far as I know, all everything's all staffed up. But uh, that's I, I mean I doubt even Quentin is able to keep track of every uh, tiefling he's hired. There's a lot of us, and we all uh, look different, and a lot of us also can change our appearance at will because, you know, we get discriminated against a lot up here, and uh, it's a That's skill fair. that many of us have learned. That's fair. Mm -hmm. We're never able to get, like, a, a 
item that that, that, that that can change appearances. Well, I can do that at will. So. Like a disguise kit? <laughs> Finger, yeah. That too. That would also, uh, maybe. If, uh, if we I was thinking magic, have like a, like a little bit of time, I gotta do a little bit of crafting, but I could eventually maybe do that for a while. Mm. Well, when, when is this tournament? Uh, the tournament's over the weekend, so you got the next uh, the rest of today, and then all of the next two days. Um, the only thing I'm asking is, I don't want a lot of these people who are going to be at the tournament uh, are old friends of mine. I don't have any will against them. They weren't involved in all of this, so I don't want any of them particularly to get robbed or, or shafted. I want Quentin to have to explain that his incredibly secure casino uh, was easily uh, heisted on the very opening weekend. So, uh, if you could get the statue and, uh, maybe rob the vault before the, uh, end of the tournament, that would be much appreciated. Are there any old friends of yours who, who might be willing to, um, to help us out if, like, a code word or something was used? Or, uh, or is there too much bad blood there? It's not so much bad blood, it's more that we, uh, you know, as professional gamblers, we have to, uh, actually stay very above the law so you don't get accused of, you know, counting cards and things like that. Um, so really, uh, they're not going to want to participate in something like this. What about your cousin? Uh, my cousin, uh, is trying really hard to not get shipped back down to Avernus. Fair. It kind of sucks down there. Yeah. And all the, like, all the infighting, all the princes of hell are just a nightmare right now. Nobody wants to be down the hills. Mm. Okay. Anyone in particular that we should watch out for as we are... Any of your friends that you can name that we could avoid, you know, just just or so just we know who to rob and who not to rob. Just uh, if you see a little uh, uh, if you see a gnome that looks like the most stereotypical cartoon devil you've ever seen, that's Quentin. You can do whatever you want to him, as far as I'm concerned. Everybody else, I'd appreciate it if you could sort of minimize the impact. No, literally like he's got the he's got the with the goatee and the like curls wow. his hair up. Like, yeah, no, it's wow. it is not subtle and it's a little bit racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds like he sounds like a whole shithead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, uh, you can do whatever you want him. I do not like him. Whatever we want. I, just don't tell me about it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do we know anything about the security mirrors? How do those work? Uh, scrying, as far as I can tell. If they're anything like other casinos that I've played in, uh, mirror up in the corner, other side projects to another mirror somewhere in the uh, security room. They could probably be uh, dispelled or destroyed or deactivated in various ways, uh, but every casino security is a little bit different, so I don't know the specifics. What's a circus? It's a circus. Like an actual circus? Yeah. Does the restaurant have a buffet? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Uh, no, the the circus is a. It's a. It's a circus. There's a bunch of uh, tiefling acrobats and a bunch of animals. And they do tricks and do music and, you know, the the silks in the air and uh, flaming hoops, mm. things like that. Hmm. Pity it's tiefling acrobatics. Acrobats. I mean, you know, I you. Get a couple of fake horns and uh, paint yourself a funky color, and you might pass off for just a real furry tiefling. <laughs> a tiny fuzzy tiefling? I I've seen weirder. <laughs> yeah, a little it short. A That's really the problem. I I'm very short. Hmm? Hell themed circus. Anything can be in there. Imps. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't want to say it. you could pass <laughs> as one of the circus animals, but that might actually be a better option. Yeah, it's not the worst thing I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, I don't care how you get in or oh, how you uh, uh, get into the vault once you're there. I'm just providing you with what I know. Okay. I suppose, is there any other, like, information you think is important and necessary for us to know? Any Anybody... Uh, to watch out for what's the security like? Like, are there people roaming the floor? 
Do you oh, know? Uh, I mean, there will usually be guards uh, walking the floors, just kind of keeping an eye, making sure nobody's hassling the waitresses and uh, or trying to count cards, anything like that. Um, they will have some sort of holding cell if you do get caught causing a ruckus. Um, don't know, you know, I've, in some casinos I've been in, it's like a proper prison or like a, you know, magically uh, imbued. And sometimes it's literally just like a conference room. Okay. Do you know it's uh it's underground? What kind, what's the ventilation system like? No idea. Cool. Haven't been there. Sorry. Well, I mean, I guess we could do a do a similar thing to the museum and just go go take a look, maybe, and get our own sense of the place. Is and... there a soft opening happening? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's open. This is the soft opening opening. weekend, so just uh, um I can provide you transportation to the docks and uh, uh give you the. I don't even think they're charging a fee. I think you can, uh, you can tip the boatman, of course, um, proper, you know, to tip people where you can. Might make some friends that way, but, uh, you know, uh, casino employees, notoriously underpaid, sort of like uh, waiters and most general uh, service workers. Uh, but um, yeah, you just uh, head on in. They're really banking on making the money off of the, the alcohol and the food and then the gambling part of things, so. Okay, what time of day is it? Currently? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is late afternoon. Okay. Well, uh, what do you think, friends? What are we gonna do? How do we wanna approach this? Probably a good idea to get the lay of the land, mm -hmm. see how things are looking. If I can get in as part of the circus, that might be a little bit easier. Yeah? Because it looks like that would at least get me in into an area where we can get into security. Mm-hmm, yeah. I do see that there's a there, there's a there's a door there that's not blue that could get you into security. Right. Just no, looking at the because if because if I'm working with with the circus and I come into the animals, there's a store here. Yeah, that like I the come employees from. only. That's yeah. blue though. Oh no, this one up here. That's also blue. No, no. So I, oh, I would be right I here. See. So going through, but like if you were go to, to go through the circus mm -hmm. and somebody would to, were to unlock that door, then you could get through to the the prep, circus prep with animals exactly. held. And then you gotta, you have access to that whole area there. Yeah, wouldn't be able to get past security back into the vault, because there's no. two doors and mirrors, but at least get into security. Mm -hmm. See if there are any extra key passes or whatever they're using. Getting, yeah. getting at least mm -hmm. one key pass is gonna be really important. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And if we can get someone into the security that can Either be in, either like hold the security, and then it doesn't matter what the mirrors say, mm -hmm. or find a way to mess with them, so they can you know loop an image or something. If I yeah. get in there, I can probably hold it. I can tell you too. The uh, standard uh, uniform for most of the employees, be they security waiters, whatever, uh, tuxi black tuxedo pants, uh, red uh, low cut jacket with uh, sharp skinny black lapels. That entirely tracks. Again, this man is a walking stereotype. <laughs> is it red, low cut, what? Uh, you know, a uh, little blazer with the thin lapels, but it's low cut, so you're either showing off your, your V or your cleavage, depending. It's a great place to store tips. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we should... I... I'm kind of far up. from Petey, but I, I, say. Say. I could ask. I don't know. Two days, the two. I mean, short of a time. If Priscilla says that she could get us stuff, well, we need it. Get, get stuff worked into like us. Just like tapping on the business card. <laughs> <laughs> tapping on the business. Wait, wait. We got to get a little beat going here. <laughs> <laughs> just annoy Priscilla into appearing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay. More and more should, aggressive. Should, should stop that. <laughs> I don't even think we got your name yet. <laughs> yeah, who are you? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm Devin. Hi, Devin. I'm Risha. Hi, Risha. Who are you inside? Well, I'm, I'm Gemma, also... That's kind of personal. I haven't well, met I, you I yet either. <laughs> Gemma. Hi. Oh, my know? God. You guys don't know each other. <laughs> no, we, we were... That's right. Hot. Shifts in the night. Oh, you're sure. the one who disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In Mysterious. your head, you hear inside, I'm also Devin. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Mm. What happened? That'll come in mm. handy. <laughs> What's it? Well, I, 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 uh, I've worked as a lookout before. It, it can be helpful. What can be helpful? <laughs> oh. 
I I I get what is happening? Voice and brain. Voice and brain. Oh, I can do message that too. Message, no. Yeah. Also, we have. Um, do we still have the earrings of message? Oh uh, yes. Did, did Count Hyacinth teach you that too? No. Oh. No. Okay. Well, we should um, get a hold of Priscilla. Oh, yep. sorry, were you asking about oh, me? Okay. As she yes. walks up behind you guys. Sorry, there was this incessant tapping in my pocket. I assumed you were trying to get... Uh, so crazy. Wonder what that was. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, uh, Verity, I assume you've had a chance to... Yeah, gave him the rundown. So, uh, it's all yours then. Um, I can provide you transportation, like I said, to the docks. And uh, if you need to come back here for lodging, you can uh, drop my name and they will cover... The lodging for you. Uh, once you, uh, if you accomplish everything, of course, there will be uh, payment in kind. And um, if you need uh, resources like uh, something like this, uh, and she holds up a uh, very slick looking little, basically like lounge fly black backpack that's purple with uh, red trim, uh, you know, to help carry your things. You can uh, use this to put the uh, yeah, you know, if you need a place to put the statue and the yeah. ill-gotten gains that they're not yeah, going to look gonna through. Is your briefcase going to be a little weird in there? It might be. But also, I look pretty fly in a suit with, with a briefcase. So, I don't know. I might look like a high roller, you know, if I played cards. That is the big if there, isn't it? Yeah. I will take the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hands you the backpack. I think, yeah. All right. So, um... I don't know if you can get in touch with Petey, or maybe you can just pull these out of thin air, but what about a black tux with a red low-cut blazer with a thin black lapel? Can we uh, get that? That is very specific. I don't think I can just conjure those out of uh, nowhere, unfortunately. Um, I'm assuming this is some sort of uniform situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. We could probably steal one of them. I was about to say, I, usually when I need a uniform to get into somewhere, I um, wait in a dark alley until someone in said uniform walks by and then I knock them out and steal their clothes. Oh, or something just, equivalent. You don't just seduce them and then take the clothes when you die? I have also done that. <laughs> yeah, see, I thought that would be the most easy and like non-invasive kind of, sorry, non-invasive kind of thing, you know get. what I mean? It really is situational. I've done a lot of things in my incredibly long career, and um, you just sort of see what uh, what applies in the moment. Can I, can I get non-poor clothes? It, uh, it sounds like you're talking about stealing from people. At which point, you can get whatever kind of clothes you're able well, to steal. Uh, so, I, could, I could maybe I, get you. Steal is a strong I, word. Maybe I should say. Um, uh, walk liberate and borrow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, case, not borrow. We're not giving it back, but liberate for sure. Got it. If there's also a way for like transportation, if PD can get us something. Yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, if you could get in touch with PD, or if I could get back in touch with PD and then get back. What sort here. of transportation? I thought uh, Verity, didn't you say you had uh, transportation to and from the casino? Yeah, I offered. I uh, got my uh, got a carriage. It'll go take you to the docks. Docks the only way in now the casino, and uh, you got lodging here. Just a whole I lot mean, transportation of, of goods. If we did get in touch with PD to have some things sent up. I oh oh um I can I can attempt to uh, contact uh, Mr. Pieter and uh, get him I read that. Uh, get things for you. Uh, it'll have to go through me because I don't. I'm assuming your young friend does not have teleportation magic. I mean, perhaps that's a wrong assumption. Petey is a mystery to all of us. Okay. He's very peculiar. Uh, so I can't, I can't really speak to the particulars of his ability other than he is a magnificent individual. Why don't you give me a list and I will get it to uh, Master Pieter and we will see what he's able to come up with. What sort of timeline are we working on here? Two days? Yeah. Two days. Yeah, we got two days. Right. I will, we'll try to, hopefully I won't get called away in that time and I can uh, help go between. I am working another job at the same time, so I'm not um, fully available, but uh, between okay. Hyacinth and myself, hopefully we can um, at least get you in contact. All right, cool. We will uh, put together a list and um, is there a way we can get in touch with you without calling you here? Uh, you, you, uh, the cards also essentially work like a 
d delayed sending stuff. You can leave a message and I'll get it to my voicemail. Okay. Like yeah. A pager. Yeah. yeah. We'll uh, we'll scope. We'll we'll do a little scoping out of the place and we'll make a list and we'll send it to you and we'll delineate what we need from PD and what we need from you. How does that sound? Uh, certainly. Again, can't guarantee that I can get you everything on the list. Uh, I do have limited resources myself, but I can yeah. certainly do my best. That's fair. Um, I'm sure uh, uh, Verity can uh, try to provide you anything that she has access to. I just don't know what that is currently. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll send you off right now with a, with a note from me to PD about the black tux and all <laughs> the specifics and particulars. Um, are we thinking you're going to disguise and... We'll put I it to your disguise. measurements. I can also, if you just want to carry around a ring for a bit, I can do that too. Oh. Well, I meant like for access to employee areas, since you can look like a tiefling. Mm -hmm. Maybe we ought to get you the suit to your measurements. Wait, you can travel around in a ring? <laughs> for a few hours. So I'll I write mean, down I Gemma's mean. measurements. I mean, I might be able to get Excellent. you into that. That I definitely that memorized. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you door. also know PD has that. her measurements. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's true. Oh, PD no, that would work. work. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we know we need this for sure. Wonderful. I'll uh, see if we can get started on that. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. I'm terrified of whatever I just missed. <laughs> I don't I think know that's important. Oh! We need a tape measure. Mm. Are you gonna yeet the ring with your sling? <laughs> I can just throw it. Shortest module ever. We don't even get oh to the second God. half again. Hey, I, I the card. Our, our wonderful cover people. means nothing to me. I just need to oh, see a point within ten feet of it. I can uh, when someone walks through the door, just bounces around and get inside. <laughs> That's a wonderful, terrible Skip idea. It, yeah. Uh, that, uh, Again, Devin options, wouldn't have this options idea. Options available. <laughs> options, but let's go and explore and so see many. what we can do. Um, right, I'll uh, wait I'll for a page. Just write it on the business card. I can I give you a clean one when we're done. Um, have fun, everybody. But it would be enough to get You're regretting this already, aren't you? Saturday. I, the problem with these heist modules, a little lift by the curtain, is that they are not operating on my rule of heists, which is I know a guy. You know <laughs> a guy, it changes the way you approach the heist. And you all know at least one guy, and it's Petey. <laughs> so. We know two guys. We know Dave. Yeah. Dave knows all sorts of things. That's true. You do also know Dave. Anyway, um, Priscilla takes the measurements and the existing list and uh, grabs one of the little olive tapas things that has come to the table, sticks in your mouth on the way out, heads out to go um, make some contact for you. Um, what I'll, would I'll you all like to- push some more food in Devin's direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what would you all like to do now? I think they're gonna go scout it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can go to a casino? Go to the, the carriage casino. mobile. Yeah. Um, do you want to take- uh, Yeah, it's like, would you like to take the carriage that Verity has offered? Sure. Yes. Unless there's something on it that marks it. Is it a symbol of hyacinth that comes towards the screen and back? <laughs> <laughs> it's just hyacinth yes. opens the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like an old 60s cartoon. Dear God. Terrifying. I love uh, it. Let's do it. Why don't we have this graphic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, draw, fan, it. draw it and we'll have fan it. Fan art. I'm just saying. Yes. Uh, fan art. Fan okay. art. Okay. Um, uh, no, uh, Verity, it is a hired carriage that Verity used to get here for this meeting. So it is just like a generic, it, it's a rental. Oh Which no. I, <laughs> like a rental. She's not riding in it. We should be fine. There, nobody's got fire yet. You're only level two ish. Two ish. <laughs> Maybe hiding there after hours. Um, but yeah, so you can all load up into this carriage. Um, Verity is, of course, going to stay at the bar because she doesn't want to get too close to things and have people recognize her because she is pretty well known on the gambling circuit because she was a top-notch uh, winner for many, many years. Um, so you hop in the carriage and head off down the road. Um, as you approach a, a fork in the road, you see a brand new, like, fresh painted, uh, like, billboard sign on the road with, like, a big, gaudy, like, 
uh, arrow pointing that like looks like it's made out of like flames and stuff. And then there's this like kind of like weird sort of like gothic lettering that says this way to the afterlife all uh, pointed. Oh no! <laughs> um, it's we... real ostentatious. Oh, I'm already getting a headache from well, this can guy. I, can I ask the carriage to stop for a second? Uh, yeah, the, the halfling who's driving is just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna pop out and take a look at the sign. Okay. Uh huh. And I want to see. I want to like just take coming. out. <laughs> I was told we weren't in hell. <laughs> I want to take out, um, you know, some of my like my go to go bag tinkers tools. Uh huh. And I want to kind of look, like examine the arrow on the sign for a moment, and, okay. and like how is it attached to the sign? I just kind of want to like look around, poke around. Um, everything is is. Um, it's like one of those big roadside signs that you see when you're driving uh, the five. So it's just like one of these big, big gaudy sort of billboards. But the arrow um, is made of some sort of slightly more translucent, almost like, you know, plasticine sort of something. Um, you get the sense that probably there's like some sort of like arcane lighting in it so that at night it glows and like flickers with the hellfire theme or whatever. Uh, but it's a little bit offset. Uh, it doesn't look like it's like super firmly attached. It's just sort of like sealed on to hide the casing of whatever mechanic oh. is behind it. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, is it possible for me to remove the arrow and point it the other way? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to take off the arrow, Give flip it around, and reattach it. Give me a slight a uh, hand check, but you may add your proficiency because of your tools. Okay. Um, are you trying to Put like down. do this? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 get, get them to go the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to get them to go the wrong direction. <laughs> oh God. Um, are you trying to do this stealthily by any means? Or are you oh, just no. To... Okay, No, I mean, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll like pop up on top of the carriage and like look around and make sure that they're not approached by someone. Twelve? Twelve. Level two. Uh, um, it takes you a little bit of time. You're having a hard time. You're not sure. You're not sure if you can fully get it like flipped around and re-adhered, but you can definitely like pop it off and like at least lean it up you, against you help? in a different. Uh, I like some help. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Actually, if you could uh, get come over here and hold this part, and I will uh, kind of. Actually, I, I, can I ignore that and just cast guidance? <laughs> and give her like another roll or something, add a D. Go ahead and add a D4 to, to roll what 12. I yeah. yeah. Okay. You suddenly feel a surge of inspiration as you realize how this thing is attached. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 14. 14. Um, that was the number you kissed. <laughs> so. It's still it's still tricky, but you think you can. You don't think it's gonna hold forever, but okay. you think you can at least get it well, up can enough mend that it back on. Initially. <gasps> I'm gonna take out my mending. Okay. No, no, I'll do one oh side and the other no, okay. side. Okay, so what this looks like, Sloane has built this pocket handheld multi-tool. Yes. That's got like a miniature sewing machine. It's got a miniature soldering iron. It's got a miniature like a drill on it. And it and they take out the the like mending machine and they start mending it with a soldering iron onto the sign. I'm I'll do the, you do the front, I'll do the back. I'm stealing yeah. the mending machine multi-tool for all of my home games now. I'm absolutely going to stat that up. Uh, yeah, um, if you're willing to take the time to do it, then at that point with the assistance and the tools and everything, I'm just going to let it happen. Just um, let it happen. <laughs> yeah, the halfling carriage driver like sees you do this and like watches you for like a minute and then literally just like slumps back and like pulls a paperback like western novel out of his pocket and just starts reading. He's like, I'll wait. I don't care. Awesome. Okay, so what what does this do? How is this gonna help us? <laughs> oh, it's just fucking fun, my guy. They're all gonna go the opposite way, and then you so know. So there's less people there. Yeah. So how does that help us? It fucks with him. Yeah, I think that, I thought that was the whole. Okay, point. well, yeah, that, that's okay. Good. Right, so, we're slowing so we'll, down his business. So we're gonna we're gonna reflect well for the job, and then then they'll, uh, Lady Tyga, and I'm gonna head a head, 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 head a gold piece. I'm gonna head a gold piece. I to, mean, to I guess, and like driver. I'm gonna I'm gonna like kind uh, of start also, walking back to the carry. I'll hand a stone. A <laughs> stone. Oh my god. Like a like a gemstone looking. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> 
I got a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a friend. Got it. Mm. Um, uh, you finish your vandalism and continue a little further down the road in the correct direction until you pull up alongside the river. You see here, there is a big, uh, like, there is a big, like, carriage lot that is parked, a bunch of, parked. you see a bunch of drivers. Some of them are hanging out on the wagons. There are a couple of food trucks that have set up that they are eating at. And somebody has like popped up a couple of tents where it seems like a bunch of people are just kind of hanging out. A lot of them are wearing like livery mm. of, you know, semi, you didn't necessarily recognize the houses, but it is recognizable as like, this is somebody's like uniform. You are the coachman for the family or whatever. Um, it looks like this has been set up as a place where uh, they can hang out while they wait for their, uh, uh, their charges to, uh, and their patrons to finish their gambling at yeah. the casino. Um, and you see there is, uh, a tiefling in, uh, these, you know, very well-fitted tux pants and a little bit more of like a robe length, um, tux top, uh, who is sort of waving and is like, ah, oh, welcome, welcome to the afterlife. Please step this way and the ferryman shall take you to the beginning of your end. And like doing all this like very, dumb canned patter um i'd like to sleight of hand that guy a gold piece <laughs> sure uh, uh do you want i don't want anyone else to notice it do you except for that person. i said you want him to notice it yes cool um you, give me a sleight of hand check cool i remember how this game works you guys can roll dice what <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. we like this is that like a 19 we like this 18 nice. plus. 22. Yeah. Uh, you kind of sleight of hand it uh, to like his his pocket or something. And you see as he's doing all of his like grand gesturing, he just like also suddenly like reaches in his pocket and like pulls a gold piece out and kind of like flicks it across his knuckles and like winks at you. Just that acknowledgement that he knows that you, like he has recognized <laughs> what cool. you did. Um, and as he does, like, he does a big broad sweeping gesture kind of towards your whole group. It's like, ah, friends, please come right this way. Do you wish to come to the afterlife? For you see our ferryman awaits. Shh. <laughs> um, He's doing his job. It's motions okay. over and you see there well, is a very that. comfortable <laughs> boat. Um, and standing at the back of the boat with like a big gondolier's uh, staff is another tiefling with like a very dark hood on that's pulled over the eyes and clearly a lot of like the dark eye makeup to make everything kind of sink down. Who's like, just like standing at the back looking very ominous. Well, can you make like a pair of glasses said. that glow to give them the scary glowing eyes effect? <laughs> Uh, not with what I have here, but uh, at some point, probably. That would be funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, get a little uranium. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Sure, put that next to their eyes, why not? Why not? <laughs> well, yes, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. And Welcome, hot friends. In. Please gather in, gather in. Take your seats as our chair on shall escort you on your way to wonders such that you have never seen. Cool. Great. Yeah. Do we need um, to pay the ferryman? I, I, uh, this is entirely free of service of the casino. However, uh, tips are always appreciated <clears throat> if you care to. But please come, come and enjoy your afterlife. The party doesn't start until after everything else is done. Is that the catchphrase of the casino? I don't know. <laughs> as I'm getting on the boat, just like that's, that's a, a terrible strange. catchphrase. Yeah, a little. Bit. I'm also gonna slide a hand the ferryman a gold piece mm. if I can. I want sure. him to notice, but I don't want anybody else to notice. Okay. I don't think any of these people have actually been to the afterlife. <laughs> you know, with how weird things are, they might have been, but. I mean, they're. I think they're getting it wrong on purpose. Then. Mm. That was less good. Well, you want you want okay. the fantasy 13. of it, right? Um, you don't want to actually scare. You're them. not so That's subtle nice. that your fellow boatmates. I, I will say I don't have everybody's passes in front of me. What it's in one of these documents. Person? Let me double check. Um, my perception, my passive is thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, passive seventeen. <laughs> uh, you all absolutely <laughs> notice um, that uh, your compatriot son is. Bless you. Uh, yes. Trace slip of gold to the ferryman. The ferryman, however, does also notice and tries to kind of assist by just kind of quickly, like you know, making making it disappear. 
You guys also noticed that he is not, he, it's a good move, but it is not subtle enough to mm. hide. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see it. I honestly don't care if all of them see it. I'm more of like, if you angle, if you angle I approve it, of your bribery. More that way. <laughs> Sorry, which, like, this was, like, I didn't yeah, say yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Is it, ooh, exactly. this one? Like that? Like a little. Thank you, that's little, actually, it's yeah. really clever. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let me take you on your way. Welcome to the afterlife. Is this fun for you? It's a living, I guess. Okay, I don't know about you all, but I don't need to like uh, an after living. Are we the only other ones on here? Are there other people? Uh, the four of you are the only ones in this boat. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay well, yeah. you don't have to keep that, that up with yeah, us if you don't you're want fine. to. Yeah, you're fine. I, uh, I, I, you can just relax for a second. Thank you. I'm going to continue with the ominous demeanor in case anybody's watching. Now, I don't if you'd want like to, break to practice illusion. with us too. Honestly, the pattern is really bad. The guy who runs the place wrote it all himself and would not take feedback. I don't think he's ever been to the hells because I can tell you this is definitely not how it worked down in Dis. But you know, I'm just glad to get work on the material plane these days. Jobs are real scarce around here ever since that incident up at Candlekeep. Uh, I, I, what incident? Pick one, honestly. They've been having sleep storms for like a month now. I don't even know oh, what that is. God. That sounds horrible. Yeah, they just it's not sleep great. forever. There's a lot of people just like passing out all the time. I also heard rumors of some sort of like vicious foul thing stalking people. I don't like know. I did foul. Foul. Get like smells bad, looks yeah. bad. Don't or... know, don't want to know. <laughs> okay. Because we just had to deal with an egg, so foul. Oh god. That would not mm. be good. Yeah, eggs not my jam particularly. Reminds me too much of sulfur. Mm. Not my favorite. Mm. Sure. Anyway, uh uh you you all here for the tournament or just checking out the new casino? Uh, yeah. The tournament. It's it, it's it's the, the the talk of the town. I have to check it out. Yeah, it should be great. Uh, a bunch of the all all the names apparently. I don't know. I don't follow material plane gambling circles. I'm more oh, into uh, I'm more into melee ball myself. What's that? How do you play? Oh, it's this really cool underground sport. Uh, he spends the next uh, seven and a half minutes of your boat ride explaining to you about the glories of Melee Ball. By the end um, of it, Risha is absolutely sold and is like, you have to tell me where, where to get in on this. This sounds amazing. I will definitely, on your way back, uh, if I'm uh, on, I will try to hook you up with some info. Uh, welcome to the afterlife. Please watch your step on the way out of the boat. Take my hand if you feel unsteady. I see so Disneyland cute. assists you <laughs> out of the boat. I, I will. I will palm a gold into into a, into his hand uh, as I as I accept the the help. Excellent, because you have offered two gold to the ferryman you gain inspiration. I will allow you to choose for the mechanics of how our game works, if you would like that in the form of a bit, or if you would like me to pull a card from the deck to put in your pool. Here's the question. If we pull a card that we really like, can we trade it for one that we have in front of us? I will let us? you swap it out and put the card that you're currently holding I'm into actually your hand. Only this. That's very fair. Um, I think card? Card? Yeah, I think we all have a bit, right? I mean, we all have we all have bits, and those are amazing. But yeah. the the cards can be literally game changing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I really like that idea. Let's go for a card. Yeah. All yeah. right. I'm going to cut the deck just for the fun of it. Okay. That might actually be game breaking, <laughs> as we learned last night in arr, the arena. Arr, arr. Arr. Oh, no, no, that's in the deck of uninspiration. <laughs> but, yeah, I do have that one too, but it's the other. As a bonus action, bonus action, bonus action, Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, we miss you this week. As a bonus action, break this marble to create a one inch thick magical barrier, no more than 10 feet by 10 feet. It can be used to seal a door, a tunnel, or enclose an item no larger than three feet in any direction. The barrier has an AC of 14 and 25 HP. It's not foolproof, but it'll have to do. How um, how long does it last, and where are the bathrooms? Because we have <laughs> our distraction. Uh, it, it, it lasts until it's broken, I think. It lasts until it drops to zero HP? We can create some desperate casino goals. <laughs> That is correct. Oh, no. We 
we go? Where are the restrooms? Oh my God, there well, are no the, bathrooms. There's they'd the have bath, to be in. The, they'd the have to be in the restaurant oh, by probably, law. No. Oh yeah, definitely in the no, restaurant. No, no one would go in the bath. Well, I mean, they would in this situation, but <laughs> probably in the hallway. You know, it is funny though. They made such a point of putting bathrooms on the map for the museum. Right. And they did not, and they the put for of less of a point. Do we people just go up from the, the waterfall, or I need? Mean, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to trade this for a card that we currently have? I think we kind of need to have that in our hand. <laughs> yes, um, we're gonna stop I up think something. We keep healing. I'm, I'm okay giving a boosted adrenaline. You wanna yeah. put that back in the pool? Without the, without, hopefully we're not getting into combat. Hopefully. Yeah. I, mean, I will, I will give that up to have emergency seal in my pocket. Okay. So, like if we could cascade enough stuff, we could create a riot in here. <laughs> Oh my god. I wish you'd been along for the museum heist because <laughs> we did cause a riot. <laughs> Nice. With a fire alarm. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Um, yes. So uh, feeling refreshed and inspired after your boat ride with uh, the the uh, the Charon of the day. I am gonna let them know the the prime material plane is not all it's cracked up to be. He will not be like. I mean. Noted. I, I'll take it over help, but like I'm. I, I mean, I, hell is not great. I'm no. just saying. No, I avoided it personally. That's probably a good call. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you have now arrived at uh, the casino. The Afterlife Casino. I probably have something I'm supposed to read to you. Let me look and see. That sounds right. Another thing I would like to find out is if it's the same pass card. Mm, that's a good question. Oh, a change in scenery. Ah, yes. Oh, dang. Uh, the cave ceiling rises high above your heads and dancing lights bob around hanging stalactites. The river winds through the casino floor, splitting the cavernous chamber in two and passing under arched stone bridges at various points. Card tables and other gaming stations surrounded by chattering patrons fill the open space. A cheer rises from deep in the cavern, which is decorated to suggest excitement, opportunity, and excess. Uh, the ferry steers your boat toward the left bank. Your boat rocks as it bumps up against the wooden dock. The ferry then raises one hand, gesturing at the glittering sights before you and intones in a deep, raspy voice, Welcome to the afterlife. Temptation awaits. <laughs> it's a better catchphrase, at least. It is. Yeah, that is much better. still not great. Definitely. We're workshopping. We're trying to convince him to let us workshop it. It's fine. Uh, what was your name? Uh, you literally can just call me Charon. Oh, okay. Thanks, Charon. It's much more pronounceable hmm. than my given name. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, thank you so much for, for the ride. Anytime. I'm here seven days a week. Oh, See you next time. Have fun. Don't spend it all in one place or, or do. All right. Well, and we'll get get a little ways away from, from the docks. I think we have a pretty good friend in, in our Charon now, but... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, you step away from the docks and you immediately find yourself on the gaming floor Our of the casino. Getaway driver. Mm hmm. Wow. That's gonna be really. You could also getaway. go over the waterfall. <laughs> Just yeet off the waterfall. Well, God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm a Hadozi, I can yeah. glide. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long drop off. Um, but yeah, as you look around, uh, you see that the bulk of this is like open gaming floor. Again, very standard casino. There are tables where dice and cards are being played. There is also slot machines. Um, but all of this is existing within the confines of this natural cavern that was sort of adapted for this purpose. Um, everything is lit with these um, dancing lights that are sort of bobbing around, lighting different areas in different sort of color themes. Uh, seems partly to help separate different areas of the gaming floor and also partly maybe to suggest the different layers of hell that everything is riffing off of. There are little um, uh, flickering like columns that are made to look like they're uh, being lit with firelight uh, from the inside that have directions pointing you to the different, you know, the restaurant, the circus, the spas, you know, mm -hmm. uh, little directional standpoints and things like that. Um, all, you can hear uh, that sort of Muzak just being piped through arcanely. Everything kind of sounds like the, it's all in the vein of Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> Way it's, too much fiddle music. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very like, it's very like a uh, uh, cowboy road through the afterlife music. Um, some of it is better than others. <laughs> well, shall we? Have a look around. Do we want to stay together? Do we want to split up? 
and make it and make Alondra's life more difficult. <laughs> you can try to make my life more difficult. <laughs> oh no, you're right. Your life is already. <laughs> I'm still not um, sure exactly. Just getting like a, a, a little bit of the lay of the land and everything. Is the lounge area, does that look like it's like a special like high roller area? Are there, are, beyond the like obvious employee doors, are there places where it seems like, oh, this is maybe a reserved area that we'll get in trouble if we touch? Um, let me. I mean, if there aren't any signs. How much signs. The, <laughs> the important question. <clears throat> Um, so, as you walk in and you depart on these docks, uh, going to, I'm going to use compass directions because it's going to be easier for my brain, so going west. Mm -hmm. yeah, very um, waffles. Uh, you step up to the west, that is the docking area. Uh, you see a sign that has the rules of the afterlife. Stay out of the river Styx. Don't cheat. Cheaters never prosper. Don't accost or threaten other patrons or the staff. Keep your weapons hidden or sheathed at all times. Only employees may pass through green trimmed doors. Win, win, win. And you see as you look at the sign every so often that win, win, win like cycles through like a shimmering series of colors. Like a little mm -hmm. like neon sign ripple. I don't think we're able to obey that last rule though. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we might win, win, win. <laughs> um, to the east, on the opposite side of the river from where you are currently standing at the docks, uh, is an area themed after uh, Avernus, um, full of three dragon anti-tables and copper slot machines. Uh, and you see a couple of cashier booths down at the south end. Um, and then up above there is a lounge area. It looks like it's got a bar and chairs and couches. There doesn't seem to be any sort of like uh, restriction. There's no... Um, there's nothing cordoning it off or anything like that. So the cashier areas are like in here. Yes. Okay. Can we write on them? Absolutely. Again, Thank with you. our with our new map experimentation, this is for you guys to mark up as you like. Uh, do we want to go to the tournaments area? Might they keep the statue there if that's what they're showing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is a good yeah, idea. Go get check a that out. Close to look at that. Yeah. I also want to swing to the circus area. That's mm -hmm. not the worst way in. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And the only way across is like a bridge there? Yeah, so all of these points on the map that you're looking at where you see where the river's broken, these are these little like stone bridges. Again, think very like Vegas Casino where this river like runs all the way the length and is like part of the feature. It is lit and like has little water effects occasionally. Someday I'm going to um, go to Vegas. And <laughs> pretend Probably. you've seen at least a movie set in Vegas. I believe in you. <laughs> Have you seen Miss Congeniality too? No. Oh, it's so good. We should watch we won't, it. We won't divert into movie talk. Sorry. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, um, so you can cross over at various points um, uh, where there are these little uh, breaks. So, um, yeah, as you continue to wander up uh, from where you have departed, uh, you walk into this next section, kind of like widens up past the docks. Um, this section is themed after the Circle of Hell Dis. Um, it contains uh, more slot machines and five life and death tables, which is uh, uh, each one has a different bet tier. So you've got the copper table, uh, the one copper table, the five copper table, the one silver table, the one gold table, and the ten gold table. Those are all in that area, kind of just below where it says bar. The bar has a big neon sign above it that says Bar Malbolge. Has two bars and plenty of plush, comfortable chairs. Um, Tiefly bartenders uh, flipping tricks and uh, promoting a uh, house drink called Brimstone Gulp. Uh, you it's see, not the worst theme to drink I've heard recently. <laughs> um, Sounds awful. You can also see a group of uh, patrons over here smoking cigars that it appears you can also purchase at the bar. Um, proceeding up, I'm just giving you the full text now because yeah. I'm assuming you guys are just kind of like working your way up mm. through and getting uh, a vibe off of things. We're doing the vibe checks. Vibe checks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Have we seen security rolling around? Places. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. Oh, 22. 18. Ooh. 10. 19. But I can't go lower than my passive. You right? can't go lower than your passive. 17. So, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Um, yeah, as you guys are rolling around, you do uh, spot... So, again, you have been told that all of the employees here are tieflings. Not every tiefling in here is an employee. Some of them are clearly patrons. Um, but the ones who are employees are all very easy to spot. They're all dressed in this red and black color scheme. Um, the ones who are security... Tell me, does it tell me? Do I have to make it up? Oh, that's the differentiation. Um, the one thing you do specifically notice is most of the employees who are like wait staff or cashiers are all wearing these like very stylized masquerade masks that look like a grinning devil. <gasps> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. The ones who aren't but are wearing, like, red suit jackets and blackers, little less of that, like, deep cut V, a little more military jacket crossover style, seem to be security. Also tieflings. Also tieflings. Um, looking at them, is there any way, like, at a glance that we can spot, like, a key card on a, on a lanyard on their belt oh, or yeah. anything? Oh, okay. yeah. All of the, everybody's got pass cards. Some of them have the visible on their belt. Like, some of the security, it's a little more visible, like on a belt, on some of the other employees, um, like some of the more femme employees seem to have it like on a chain kind of dangling into the cleavage because mm -hmm. it's all, everything's a little glowing green circle. Oh. Mm, okay. Green. Yep. Okay. Green. Okay. Um, as you guys are making your way up uh, through the floor of the bar, uh, you do notice some, where you know these employee doors are. You see that there are these doors that have a matching kind of green color that mm. sort of like highlights around the edge. And again, it, it does the like running neon light vibe. So it adds to the aesthetic and sure. all the lights and the colors and the sounds of everything. Um, but it clearly indicates that those are the employee only doors. All of them are also very stylized and have a lot of like, you know, like screaming haunted faces and hands sort of. Of course. Going. Yeah, you know. <sighs> Uh, I'm also keeping an eye out for anything like vents, just because it, it seems to me like something underground should have some sort of ventilation system in order to not suffocate everyone. <laughs> they weren't. It's a heist. Vents. I'm looking for vents. <laughs> um, uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Or an investigation check. I'll let you choose. Uh, my perception is significantly better. Uh, <laughs> that's a fifteen. 15. Um, you are able to spot what seem to be some vents. Um, the ceilings are never lower than 50 feet high. Mm. And most of the vents are not near anything. It's it's straight up like it's just the air shaft. It is not like a crafted ventilation chamber with like a cover that leads to a duct system. It's straight up there's a hole that we punched from above ground into the cavern so that people don't suffocate. Oh, that's unsophisticated and disappointing. Yeah. I'm curious, actually, if I, uh, from the east side of the map, if I cross over to that side and look along the water, like, what's the clearance under there? I'm wondering if they have any... Oh, oh under the bridges? Yeah, any sort of, like, system for if things clog or whatnot are regulating. Sure, sure, sure. It might go into... Is there anything crazy in the water? Um, there's a bunch of... Piranhas. Yes. I, I was gonna say there is a bunch of little mechanical like imps and things that at various regulated times pop up out of the water and go like ee -hee 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 -hee, and like squirt water and oh spray God. and startle people. Um, there's also some pyrotechnics. Mm -hmm. You as you walk through, you notice about every like 15 minutes, uh, there will be just like <sighs> this like burst of flames from under the bridge, from under a bridge somewhere. A lot of people do the like kind of faux shrieking, very like Disney's Jungle Cruise yeah. or like amusement park haunt vibes mm. um they d did not let up from this theme no matter no. when i meet tumbleweed i'm going to punch him repeatedly <laughs> in the face <laughs> yeah i yeah. like tumbleweed you did this <laughs> what did uh, i call it before topplepot <laughs> we're just gonna keep bastardizing his name because yeah, we hate him that's a pain he's awful topplepot <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, as you examine, uh, the bridges vary a little bit in height, but it seems to be about. Um, oh God, I have well, to make it's more. This, it's uh, more scanning long and seeing if I can yeah. see if it goes in further along any of it. Oh, I see. I think I see what you're saying. 
Um, there are clearly some sort of, like, divots in out of the surface of the water where you think, like, these, like, animatronics or these pyrotechnics can kind of, like, retract to at these certain points that kind of tuck in under what would be, like, the banks, essentially. <laughs> the water itself looks like it is probably not more than, like, maximum six or seven feet deep at mm. any point, usually a little bit shallower. It's more than that, three, four, like, just enough to hide whatever effects are underneath. Mm -hmm. Not so much that you would be like fully underwater if you went into it, unless you are like a gnome or something. But it's, uh, like this is open like 24 seven, right? Pretty much. So I mean, there would breakfast have to be a... isn't a super popular time, but they're not gonna say no to somebody who wants to gamble all day. So, so I do, <laughs> I guess the, the next question, if it's not the water being regulated, Sorry, this is way smarter, but they have to do maintenance. No, these, you, right? you guys have already keyed in on the absolute appropriate things for a heist, none of which are covered in here, so I am coming up with answers for okay, you, okay. just to fully disclose. But it's like, oh, if they have to do maintenance, maybe there's some way for someone to get under there. Oh. If they have to keep it open all the time. Yeah, there's under, under a couple of the bridges, there are definitely some sort of like small hatch looking something, but you're not sure if that's like, leads into like a tunnel or something, or if that's just like storage for maybe some of the arcane battery panels that can then be opened up and adjusted. Large monkey sized? Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, it looks like they're the size, it looks like it's probably the size that, you know, a tiefling maintenance worker, since only tieflings work here, could like, open it up and like crouch in it. But again, you don't know how deep it, like you might open it up and it's just, the fuse box. Sure. Or right, it I'll, might be a storage closet. I'll look at uh, Risha no. then. You should you should come over here and look at this. Do you think I'll come it would in. fit into any of those? Oh, easily. It's, uh, it, 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 it's, it's big enough for someone your height. <laughs> I'm a big guy. It's big enough for someone your height. It's height. tall enough, yeah. <laughs> I said height. Yeah. <laughs> not not width though. Wow. This is all in my you you because I'm trying to keep. Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say things out loud if I don't say things out loud. That's fair. Cool. 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 Um. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Not yet. We're gonna lay the rest of the land. But gonna, I'll have a look at that. And block off the restrooms. Yes. Yeah. Where are the restrooms? <laughs> <laughs> you just go off the waterfall, apparently. I, sure, if you have external genitalia. Are you gonna ask someone where the bathrooms <laughs> are? <laughs> just gonna keep randomly looking. Uh, randomly looking, obviously. Randomly looking right. first. I think it's after we get to the tournament area. If we haven't found one, then. Um, uh, as you guys continue wandering up the up the floor, um, as you pass kind of this area, pass kind of by. I guess it's past, God, this is amazing. Um, sort of behind the dis section, as you go up to the bar, you see another um, section that has a little miniature racing track um, where it looks like there is rat racing happening. Oh God. Um, Here-ish. Oh, this, okay. this would be the moment to have a druid. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I did this with the goblins, I can do this. <laughs> no, I've got a good eye. I've got a good eye for these. I mean, just calling it rat race would be perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, they don't call it that. They've missed the opportunity. <laughs> I can turn my seven copper into eight copper. <clears throat> um, uh, Gemma, as you pass by the spa, there is that like pff, of steam that oh, sort yeah. of like probably is triggered by like a motion sensor to like waft some uh, some lovely like uh, lavender and brimstone sort of past you Everyone's and you- favorite scent. What, yeah. what a <laughs> tremendous combination. Uh, and People you... just walk away just, <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I'm so terrible. I'm imagining that's what Sabachthani's perfume used to smell like back in the day. Uh, and you do see, oh. a, and you see a very uh, busty <laughs> tiefling in a red, like that kind of like nurse's wrap oh, robe thing, standing near the entrance with like uh, a couple of towels over an arm and what looks like a little like clipboard that probably has like services listed on it and just kind of like smiles at you and gives you gives you the sort of look um nods her head a little bit does not like wait for you and doesn't like care if you acknowledge or not but it's just like this is her shtick she stands at the <laughs> door of the spa in this case anybody so wants to exploited. <laughs> oh my god 
I'm, I'm making this so much worse than the way it's written because <laughs> uh, you guys are reacting so great to how bad this is. It's real bad. It's so bad. It's terrible, and I love it's it. So racist. I love that she's doing <laughs> it's that. So and then, like, oh my god. And it's not just racist; it's sexist on top yes. of that. I just like the idea that she's doing that, and the people who the smell. <laughs> It's kind of like, oh god, it's just such a mess. Okay, but when you said lavender and brimstone, <laughs> what I smelled was like fire, like fireplace. Yeah. Oh, with, with, with like dried lavender. With in like it? dried lavender. Sure. That's what no, I brimstone is sulfurous. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's go it's, with there. So it's like, it's like a fart. Say, it's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like but, someone put lavender. incense, <laughs> it's like lavender fire. incense, in the thing, shook it around, but then also cooked eggs. So yeah, so it's like someone's just used the restroom and sprayed a lot of Febreze in there, and they're just like, oh, oh. Oh, it's like the candle that we have in the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, as in you, my mouth. <laughs> as you all debate the virtues and vices of the terrible fragrance choices, you finally make your way up to the uh, northernmost end, and you oh, approach that was a good idea. the area where to uh, uh, to the west you see where the circus will be, and to the uh, east you see where the tournament is going to be held. And as you approach, I think here is where we are going to take a brief intermission so that we can go smell our terrible candle <laughs> as we uh, return as soon as uh, approximately seven people, or five or six, depending on how we're doing the math, can use one bathroom. Please stick around, we will be back very, very soon. And you can find out what other horrible shenanigans I am forced to make up about this hellish themed casino from, uh, it's not from hell, because if it was from hell, it would be less exploitative as this. Stick around, <laughs> we'll be right back shortly.